We can get a ton of information off of our clinical exam and two objective tests that have been utilized together to help find the clinical condition of cervical myelopathy, which is narrowing of the spinal canal is combining the Lermitz sign, which is when you go into flexion, there is a sharp shooting pain typically going down the spine, sometimes in the extremity, and combining that with what we call the Hoffman sign. And the Hoffman sign is taking the DIP, the individual, and flicking it into a flexion moment. Nothing really should happen, but individuals who have some sort of central sign um, considering uh, of, of cervical myelopathy, they will have typically some thumb flexion associated with that. So uh, combining tests really is better than just doing one test, and hopefully that will help you with your clinical decision making.